guys, it picked up a, uh, I don't know if you could see it too good, I'm kind of paddling into the sun here, but I went to a local uh, scuba store, actually was passing by it the other day, I was getting a cup of coffee next door, and I went in and was checking out some of the, um, you know, scuba knives, they're, you know, stainless steel, some are titanium. And I wanted to pick something up that I could lash to this vest, this life vest. Uh, so what I did was I picked up a, a real nice knife, uh, nice and small. It's not real big, but again, it's always on my vest, which is good, and it's always at my at the ready. Uh, I'll show it to you. What I did was you could put it on your belt, you could put it around your leg. It comes with uh, rubber leg straps. Uh, what I did was I just took two zip ties. And uh, if you can see here, I just zip tied it to the piece of the vest here. So what it is, it's hanging upside down. It's got a little lever here that you press, and then you, uh, you know, there's the knife. Uh, didn't do a review on it yet, but just a real nice uh, blade. It's called a uh, Wanaka Deep Sea Knife. Pretty sweet, nice and light, and uh, again, it clicks right up into place and holds nice and tight. And it's always, like I said, <clears throat> it's always at the ready. So that's one of the things I wanted to show you guys today. Um, also, maybe wanted to talk about <clears throat> Hurricane Sandy up north. You know what it's doing. I was getting tired of watching the weather reports uh, in the house. As you know, it passed through here. You know, we had some wind and I guess some localized uh, flooding and beach erosion down by, uh, you know, the beach and the coastlines, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, up the coast. <clears throat> Nothing real bad down here. A couple of big trees down that I noticed. But uh, it seems like the north is going to get really walloped uh, going into tonight, tomorrow, and Tuesday. So let's hope uh, that doesn't happen, or hopefully it dies off. But I did a video on, um, you know, being prepared and prepping and being ready before the storm hits. You know, and that's one of the things, uh, you know, as preppers, we try to account for every single uh, circumstance that we can. And uh, that's a good thing. Because a lot of people out there that are not, they just can't get it through their heads. And they think the stores are going to be stocked all the time. And if you saw the stores on the Weather Channel, they visited a couple stores up in D.C. and uh, some of the northern states, and the stores were empty. Totally empty of any goods, uh, you know, especially water. Uh, lots of people, I, I guess, don't stock enough water uh, or don't know how to get water if they need it. So that's something you really got to consider when you're preparing for... Uh, a storm you know and again we try to get on and remind everybody over and over but it seems like once the disaster or the storm passes or whatever it is people tend to forget so you know you need to keep keep it in the back of your mind and um, uh, you know keep prepping and you always want to be ready for any unforeseen uh, circumstances <clears throat>